I either need more coffee or a little bit no. more sleep, I think. More coffee and sleep. Hey, Good for you. Sleep the coffee. That's the, that the consistency I love. <laughs> Into the North, c'est l'aventure. Avec six personnes qui se connaissent pas. It's like a big family adventure experiencing this region. You, it's chief, hey James. Make us feel the experience of everything that this region have to offer. Not a lot of people have been fortunate enough to see yet, but hopefully this can be inspirational for them to go there. <laughs> well, before the morning, before any coffee, and we're all engaged in an outdoor activity. Are you ready? <laughs> it was just really exciting. And yeah, like, it's dark, and you all have your headlamps on, and you're getting ready to hike. So to just start marching up the hill, that's actually the, the quickest way to get the blood moving, get the brain working, and believe it or not, um, I find for me, like, hiking can be very mentally stimulating as well. Like, you're constantly balancing and jumping over rocks and roots, and it's a different way of thinking that really gets the brain moving. Ça faisait genre un peu l'exploration, là, dans la nuit, on était tous avec nos lampes frontales. C'est là, tu regardes à droite, à gauche, genre, t'as Dylan devant qui te fait, hey, parlez plus, genre, il y a un truc. You see something? No, I heard it. Where? You heard it? Okay. Ah, okay, no. If you heard it, it's, it's gone. Oh? Anybody here? Bonjour. Yeah, it's alright. Do you it's... normally get up for 3 a.m. hikes? <laughs> normally, <laughs> normally go to bed at this time. Yeah, this is your bedtime, Oscar. Yeah, wow. that that is bedtime. Hey, so, who's your friend this morning? To see a, a, a toad, and that's the start. And hopefully later we'll get to see a bear or something. <laughs> <laughs> When you arrive to the top of the mountain, for me, it's like an analogy, you know? It's wherever you have a goal and you're gonna do it. Yeah. After you start to see the sunrise, whatever you see on the sky is even better than any painter. C'est un beau point de vue. Tu es tout le temps surpris dès que tu tournes la tête. Les lumières du nord, elles sont particulières. Moi, j'aime beaucoup. Wow. It was kind of emotional and just seeing like all the, I don't know, like the wind, the, the sun, and like everything that was going on. It was just really powerful and it was nice, but like a good powerful, like, like a weight lifted off your shoulders and you're just like conquering the world and being like, yeah, I got this. At that moment, always, I think about my roots because yes, I am the result of my history. In my history, my first hike ever was in Venezuela. So it's always like, and so I arrive, I enjoy the moment, but I always have to. For me, it's an important step that connect me with uh, my roots, my family, nature. So it's like a triangle, I have everything on the same spot. Creo que la naturaleza siempre nos enseña algo y para mí el mensaje que recibí allí es que la libertad llega pronto a Venezuela. Just seeing him with the flag and stuff, it just had a little reminder of like how important it is to know where you're from and to be able to be proud to like showcase where you're from. To be going up Mont Rocher was a pretty special moment for him. So I definitely went on another level. It was fun because with Monique, we were just sitting there and I was saying how, like, I think the trip really hit me then, like when we were hiking, like that's, you know, when I realized, oh, we're on this adventure, we're really lucky to be like the top six and to be able to live like an adventure that, you know, I might never be able to like live. Yeah, it's good. Delicious. Delicious. The EcoJet was beautiful. It was something that like I would love to build for myself. <laughs> J'ai vraiment beaucoup beaucoup aimé cet endroit. C'est à la fois moderne et un peu design dans la façon dont c'est construit, mais ça respecte l'environnement et ça se fond vraiment dans le décor. Genre quand tu descends à 3 mètres du gîte, tu tournes la tête et tu le vois à peine. Genre ils se fond dans les arbres. Vraie expérience immersion en, en plein cœur du bois avec le lac. Enfin c'est genre tout ce qu'on aime quoi.
My bed is yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, you want to this one is it's good. Oh, yeah. I think maybe look if I jump on it and you see if it collapses. I, yeah, I just ah, didn't even fine. move it. Man, that's fine. Je m'appelle Pierre Chevrier, propriétaire des Écogites du lac Matagami. On fait découvrir aux gens la culture nordique. J'ai toujours fait le lien entre santé, alimentation puis environnement. The mountain oxalid looks like a clover leaf, but it really tastes different. Mm. Mm. Wow. So we're gonna pick some stuff to uh, accommodate the salad night. The plant foraging tour was really interesting. I loved learning about different like plants to make tea, the different medicinal, like the sap. So if you have a cut like that on your body, you can actually burst a, a resin bubble. But uh, native have been using that to really help the cuts in their body. It has a property, uh, antiseptic property. I definitely learned a lot about the, the plant life there from Pierre. Um, I've never really been too much of a forager, mostly because you have to be quite skilled in it to do it safely. You can rip the leaf and smell it. It's a cucumber smell. The nature is incredible. You know, when you show des plants that, like, la veille, on a marché dessus. Et que au final tu te dis ouais bah ça c'est comestible et peut-être que si tu prends le temps justement d'écouter ce que tes experts on va dire peuvent t'apprendre ben bah, tu vas te rendre compte que avec ça tu peux faire du thé avec ça tu vas pouvoir soigner des plaies parce que c'est antiseptique c'est super riche. You know when you have really passionate authentic people talking about their passion and showing you like it makes the experience so much better and like beyond that, like beyond just the knowledge of plants. Like it was like really cool. And it's really special how the energy of Pierre in that place match perfectly. He for me was an, is an inspiring guy. And you know, for me, success is not about money. It's not about what car do you have, which watch you use. It's what you can dream, what you can do to make it happen. So Pierre, he's living his dream. And for me, as, a, as an immigrant, it was like, a, wow, it's like the North Star. Mm -hmm.